Hello. Good morning. Good, Good animal morning. morning. <laughs> hey, welcome to Wednesday. Oh, is this it? This is your one-stop shop to get you all the stuff you need to have a good day. We got your carburetors, got your thinkerators, got your blurberators. Thinkerators? Your... Is that a th think, think or think? Think. Think. Yeah. What does a think do? You don't even know? I don't know. Oh, That's well, why buddy. I'm asking. Buddy, you're in the right place because uh, we got them all here. You got them all here? Yeah. All right. And I'd like one thinkerator, please. Th well. Please describe to me the purpose of said thing. Make you feel good. Oh. It's an emotional inhibitor. Have a good time. No, it's an emotional... Exhibitor? Yeah. <gasps> it it helps. It puts it my... <laughs> gives puts you my, more emotion. It puts my feelings in cages. It, makes you, it sets them free, my friend. And lets me view them. It sets them free. Emotionally zoological. Set you zoological. free, too. Set me free. Yeah. I kind of like the sound of a thinkerator. Yeah. Well, that will be $700, please. That seems very cheap for something that can be no emotionally manipulate me voluntarily, like I volunteer for. You're right, um, that's $7,000, please. No, I take the deal. <laughs> it's too late. 700 You've uh, made me aware of my business practices not being up to snuff, and so... Thank you, sir. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I yes, I yes, ended my way into a better, a bad, worse deal. <laughs> Uh, you'd be surprised how often that happens to uh, improvisers. <laughs> they come in here thinking they can yes and, and they leave seven thousand dollars less better off. And you, but hmm. they have thinkerators, so you know. So they're able to to process the emotions that come with that very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can process their grief at losing seven thousand dollars. They're able to reflect <laughs> upon their bad business decision making. Yeah, pretty much. Too much. But yeah, it's it's midweek. Oh. We you, oh. you made it, everyone. You're halfway through. How how can like learning your time and place f like actually emotionally like hit you? Excuse me. Like learn your place. <laughs> no, like like learning where you are in the week can just like. Oh. Gut punch you because you're like I wasn't aware of the time passing. Well, especially when you think that it's maybe not as far into the week as it is, and you I have think, deadlines. I think that's what. Yeah, I think that's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah, it's yeah. a thing. Um, Rab, when is your um frontier psychiatrist? Psychiatrist? I can't speak today. Yeah, frontier psychiatrist. Um, I or needs therapy. It's psychosomatic. When's it out? Okay, gonna switch us over to nearly December. No. Oh, that's so weird. Can't believe it's nearly December. What am I meant to do in December? Give up. <laughs> it's all over. Buy a thinkerator. <laughs> I might need one. I have to make sure that I have all of all of the Mystic Crystal stuff closed behind the scenes. Yeah, close everything. Close. Destroy everything. all the evidence. Burn it all, Mike. Delete everything, just in case. Okay. It's be best to be safe, right? Yeah. Throw the project out. Oh, Robin, that's good though. Robin says my flatmate woke up on Friday at noon asking me if it was Saturday. <laughs> that's the best. Is when you wake up and you think it's a day and it's the day before and you're like, ah, extra time. Extra time. This is the good thing for me about working with people in America is um, what is 9am for people in America is like 3pm for me, which means that sometimes I get some sneaky extra hours in before I have to send something, which is really helpful. Oh, I haven't I haven't posted the Adam Morning Challenge thing oh, yet. Well, maybe that's something that we can do on stream. Oh, sure. I don't know. We can do it after stream if you want. 
I just know that the longer we take to post it, the less time people have to do the challenge. That's true. Which I feel bad about. Oh, that's true. But I'm okay waiting till after the stream if you want. If you wanna. If you wanna be. <laughs> oh, nice. Ola says, same. Working for some Canadians at the minute. Time zone difference in my favor. That's awesome. The worst would be if you were losing time on the deadlines. But it's nice to be able to be up before they are up. Yeah, if you were working in like, well, I guess. If you were working in Los Angeles for an Australian client and they were like, I want it by the 21st. And you're like, ah, no problem. And then they're like, hey, it's 21st. And you're like, not for me. No, it's not. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That would, uh, that would suck. I'm sure that it happens to people where they have to get stuff in the day before they thought the deadline was because the deadline for the other people is, is ahead of time for them. That was a sentence. Swishy bang bang. Switchy bang bang. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to take this over to my screen where we can catch up with Mr. Pirate Cat. Sir Pirate Cat the third. Mittens the second. Did you settle on a name for Pirate Cat? I kind of just, I looked at them just now and I was like, Thumbles. Yeah, Thumbles is nice. N not, not Thumb, but Thumb. Oh, Thumbles. Like yeah. Thumbelina or Tom Thumb. It, maybe. I don't know. That's just what came to me. <laughs> it came to me as if in a dream. And it whispered, call me Frank. Oh, is... Fat Cat Garbage! <gasps> it's Fat Cat Garbage's birthday! Wow! Yeah, we got you a present. Here it is. Fat Cat Garbage, it's your birthday. Have a wonderful day. Have a great time eating cake and have an awesome day. <laughs> I can rhyme day with day because it's a special day today. Today's an awesome day because today is your birthday. There you go. It's a birthday song for you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. That was great, Mike. What's the point in me coming up with cool birthday songs when you just come and sweep the leg with something like that? Sweep the leg? <laughs> yeah. That was beautiful. But an illegal move. No, but I... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what is it? Johnny... Oh, what's his name? Johnny... Johnny Cash? No, the one from, one from... No, from Karate Kid. Johnny Kung Fu. Johnny Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Johnny. Isn't, no, he's got a surname. Evil Johnny. Johnny Quest. No. Johnny Quest? <laughs> yeah. That's him. What's his name? Johnny Jumbo. Johnny from Karate Kid. That was it. <laughs> Can you imagine if your last name was from Karate Kid? It's Johnny Johnny Lawrence. Yeah, Johnny Lawrence should, should have won no that tournament. I can't believe Why should he have won that tournament? Because he got hit in the face. That That's true. <laughs> that was an illegal move by the Karate Kid. Yeah. He won using a rule that they had like only 10 minutes before. <laughs> penalize someone Stop. for yeah. I, but it's okay because he did it while injured what? and it was his only move it's okay he was the protagonist uh yeah Danny LaRusso was the name of the karate kid LaRusso LaRusso Oh wow, Mr. Sashimi Sushi, thank you for the gifted sub. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's super cool of you, thank you so much. Much, much, much your appreciation for that. It's their first time gifting, gifting a sub. <gasps> oh! <Whoa>! oh! <laughs> Mr. Sashimi Sushi, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you used that 
that gift for the gifted subscriber. <laughs> I need to put. You. I need to put a sound with it. It needs. No, a you don't. I do. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's so cool. Oh, the Karate Kid parody team in the episode. I finally understand the parody now because I've seen Karate Kid. <laughs> Yay! Thank you for your generosity. I really appreciate that. We we really appreciate that. You I don't need appreciate the same. It at all. I don't appreciate anything. That's my thing. It's not appreciating things. I do really. I don't exist. I see you there. You do too exist. I can see you with my eyeballs. <laughs> like a ninja. Um and for for um for those asking, oh, what the pirate cat is for, I want to make uh, I want to make a game in Unity with them. I think I think my tablet is spades and out. Oh no! I think it's not it's being fine. Okay, where do you open anyway? <laughs> oh, you guys, what a couple of cards. <laughs> what a couple of cards. <laughs> I love that joke, though. <laughs> Did you ever see the um, Game Grumps playthrough, Mike, of... Oh, gosh, what was the game called? Ella will know. Um... Oh, my gosh, it was a two-player game where you were two convicts, like, escaping prison. Escapists? No. Skyrim? <laughs> Skyrim! <laughs> no. But, uh... But good guess. Ah, oh, but it's... Anyway, it's a playthrough and they keep using that joke and it's a hilarious... It's a hilarious playthrough. It's really good. If you haven't seen it, it's one I'd recommend. Oh my gosh. I think my tablet pen is, like... I think my tablet's... Broken. What? No, come on, no way. It's it's flickering back and forth between these two points, and I was like, oh, the mapping must be off. Have you tried unplugging it and replugging it back in? I haven't. I haven't done this. We just try, like, portion, portion. Boop, 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 boop. Like it thinks, thinks it's in two places at once. It sounds like um yeah, I tried tried unplugging the USB and replugging it back in. <laughs> Did you see that ludicrous display last night? <laughs> sports talk. Welcome to sports talk. I love sports ball, it's my favourite. Just add water, says redacted. Try that, try pouring some water on it. See if that fixes it. Catch the ball game. No, I have terrible hand-eye coordination. I must have missed it. They threw the ball game and I missed. <laughs> I must have that was awful. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I coordination a thing for artists. Nah. This is why all my drawings are like chicken scratch. I look at I look at other board artists and I see how beautiful and clean their drawings are. And I'm like, how did you do that with one line? I look at mine and it's just like this tangle of of lines. It's like an unconfident mess of lines. Like how do you how do you just put down a line and you're like this is the one? This is the right one. I don't need to to redo this 17 times.
Is it only when I'm in Blender? Bum, bum, bum. Everywhere. I don't know what's in Blender. Oh, is he better just chicken scratch? Does he really? Because his cleans are so clean. James Baxter's tie downs are like ridiculously tight because his volume control are, is incredible, you know? Do more doodles. Oh yeah, the reason I'm not sharing screen today is, is because I'm I'm working on boards, by the way, just to let oh, you yeah. all know. We didn't explain that. We just went straight into yeah. stupidity. <laughs> He does spend forever on them though. I'd, I'd guess I'd expect that, like given the quality of his work. If he was fast as well, I would probably like, I don't know, be more impressed. <laughs> it would be impossible. Surely. Boards like you say, like a skateboard. Yep, um, I'm drawing skateboards right now. Is he fast? Oh my gosh. What? Listen, bud. Jamifer. He got radioactive blood. <laughs> do, you not, do you not remember that? What? Is he fast? Listen, bud. He's, He's got, got radioactive, radioactive blood. blood. Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead. Hey there. There goes a spider man. There goes a spider man. Yeah. Just I said I said Jamifer and then you were like radioactive blood. <laughs> no, you said is he fast? Oh, I said that so long ago, Mike though. No you I said many other things since then, surely. Did, did you? I thought so. You couldn't have, because why would I have reacted? I was under the table before. <laughs> I, d I don't know, I'm lost. I got an elephant! <laughs> They want to fight. I'm just going to let them hate. Gotta go hard. Gotta go hard. I got an elephant. I, it felt like it was working and then it stopped working again. <laughs> Everyone thought that their stuff had disconnected because they heard your <laughs> system sounds when you disconnected your tablet. A cruel trick to play. Or is he dancer? All right, <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh! Is it Sergio Pablo, or is it Baxter? <laughs> the lines are scratchy. <laughs> the volume's good. And I spend my life looking for an answer. Was it Pablo? Oh, or was, was it, it Baxter? Baxter? <laughs> hey, Pablo. Oh, I'm really sad. How come? Did it fix it? No. Oh, man. I'm sorry, I don't know what's up with it. Oh my gosh, of all the things. We spent the entire day yesterday um, trying to fix render errors from Mike's computer. So to have something else now break is... <laughs> feels Par like the, for the fucking course. It really feels like the cherry on top of the cake, you know. It's like everything is breaking. Uninstall, reinstall, driver time. I hope it's not like a Windows update. Let me see. Let me look at that image. Yeah. Yeah, I that is I was painting scratchy, yesterday right. though, so I, like... You know, you're right. And this wasn't happening, and my computer hasn't restarted because it was rendering stuff. Maybe I need to restart my computer. I wonder... Hmm. Would you guys stick around if I came back in like three minutes. <laughs> or would you leave us? Or would I, should I just use my mouse with Blender instead? I mean, 
It's Blender. It's not dependent upon you drawing <laughs> Ar something. Artemis is like, nah, I'd leave. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that, Mike. Okay, fine. I'll just use the mouse and Blender. <laughs> You'll be fine. I'm just gonna do attack animations anyway. We're not here to fight. We need your help. Even though literally every time we talk to you, you double cross us, kidnap us, or threaten to destroy everything we love. Maybe we are here for a fight. God. Mamoru K, thank you. Mamoru K, how are in. you? Sorry, I was talking over you, Mike. <laughs> Only if Swift makes up more songs for intermission. Yeah. <laughs> you won't be able to hear them because Mike controls the stream. So if he went. There'd be no way for you guys to hear me anymore. Yeah, that would. That's another benefit if we were to get. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> if we were to get like a two computer stream setup, then if my computer that I was working on had technical difficulties, the stream would stay up and people would be able to hear your beautiful singing. <laughs> yeah. Is what I would have said. <laughs> But now I'm going to say, shut up, Swift. Shut up, Swift. Uh, okay. He must say yes. Make him say yes. Un run to turn. I want, I want an idol. Shit, Maru K okay, busted us. We busted doing illegal, I don't know, cat oaring. Cat oaring illegal in five states. And Ireland. <laughs> Wait. Okay. No, it's fine. Hey, Habbo, we're doing there. good. Thanks. How are you? How is how is the wonderful world of having electricity? Oh, you got you? it back. Nice. I'm trying to learn to draw faster. So, what were you up to, Mamoru K? Mamoru says... Oh, um, did I say Mamoruke? Because I did not mean that. Mamoru. Oh, I did. Yeah, that is... That's her name. <laughs> Mamoruke said, doing good, colouring ore shots. Ore shots? More shots, probably. Slowly but surely getting through this project. Yes. Nice. Get it. Get it. Oh, that means you've got... Uh, end game to watch... Awesome. What's that now? Kimichon says, your rise alerts just reminded me I have one more episode of season one to watch. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh. Enjoy. Did you know that um, Nick was paying so much attention to which episodes they aired that they showed episodes from season two during the season one window? I do. That's why I thought for the longest time Lair Games was and Flushed Away were season one episodes because that was the order I watched them in yeah but they weren't good job Nicole. and the bright side it means that um, season two is a little bit longer than I thought because a bunch of the episodes that I'd seen had been season two episodes yeah uh, but That'd on the other cool. hand I'd already seen them so Okay, so we got this hack thing there. We got here. Uh. Oh wait, no, I need. Why is there no keyframes? Oh, because I'm because I'm way out of out of the way. Way away. Yeah. Habo says, electricity is good, drawing is good. Heck yeah. On paper, like a madman. Man, drawing on paper is so fun. Drawing on paper is fun. Yeah, I miss I miss having a sketch pad. I need to start one up again. <laughs> I drew I drew the I drew my the bear as a piggy as a, just a doodle. Oh yeah, you did. And I showed India, and she was like, "Why does it look so sad?" <laughs> yeah, I the, the pig looks cause, so sad. Because it's a, it's yeah, it's been transmogrified against its will. From a bear to a pig, bear yeah. pig, bear, bear pig, yeah, bear pig, man bear pig, man bear pig. 
Did we know CSP is getting an update this year that will allow you to import Photoshop brushes directly into it? <gasps> what? That's cool. I feel like I still haven't explored the breadth of CSP brushes as they are in the program. I've got so many now. I see um, people like using cool ones all the time. And uh there's a I still need to dig into getting a like a pretty good like texture. Um I I had one in, in uh Photoshop that I used that I liked for like the texture of it. Um I feel like I haven't quite cracked CSB's underlying texture stuff because it feels like it when you're painting, you're painting onto a texture beneath, but I don't know if that's just that's what, how it should feel. Um, uh, I've got that habo. I've got the Daub Super Mega Brush Pack. I've also got the Friend and Pack. I've also got the. I've got. I've got a ton. You got so you're packing I'd show so you. many brushes. I'd show you. <laughs> Those packing brush sets like there's no tomorrow. So on Mystic Crystal, I switched entirely from working in Photoshop to painting in Clip Studio Paint this year. Oh my year. gosh! Spoilers. Sorry, go on, I'm sorry. Um, and yeah. It's been a it's been a thing. I really like the way that um you can have colors interact on the canvas. I know you can do that in Photoshop, but it was al always incredibly laggy for me. Whereas in Clip Studio it, it it works. Yeah. Well the whole reason you had to change was because um it kept lagging in Photoshop. To yeah. the point where you couldn't really work anymore. Pre-rendering a large chunk of your After Effects composition and finally being able to scrub through it is so specific, but simultaneously the biggest joy and relief in the world. I feel like a new man. Oh. Rabbit. I understand that statement. I think Mike understands no statement more than that one right now. Considering that the last couple of days have just been Mike trying to, desperately trying to make changes and render things. My entire year pretty much has been waiting for After Effects to load a frame. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Can testify, have my, been there and seen it happen. My whole year. <laughs> India was like, let me just uh, review these things so that you, um, you can render them out and we, you don't have to like re-render them tomorrow. I'm like, it might be, I was like, it might be quicker just to render it and check it in the morning. I like, no, this will save time. And then like 90 minutes later, we'd watched like six or seven clips. To be fair, I think it, it would have saved time um, if there hadn't been a bunch of other fixes that you'd seen that you wanted to do. Mm, yeah. So okay, attack animating. Oh. I'm gonna have the gonna have the kitty do a little, little thwap. Rabbit says, um, "I've been drowning in compositing, especially the last few days with the credit sequence for Frontier Psychiatrist reanimated." Oh yeah, well, what are you doing for that? Do you think? And also, yeah, because you'll be assembling everything together, won't you? We haven't really thought about credits for Mystic, Mike. Do you think um, they're gonna want a credit? Slide. Oh my god, we haven't. We should probably just ask them in an email, like, for credits, would they like us to provide something? Like we did for Starlight, or would they like... Would they like to handle it on their end, because it's partially live action? I think, hopefully, they'll handle it on their side, but maybe we'll... If, if not, them. we'll just, I think, like, maybe just paint up a nice frame. I was like, will they have a countdown to in the year? <laughs> will they have a countdown? I don't know. Um, because this project is like later than we'd liked it to be. Because um, it was meant to be released um, a little while ago. I, think I don't know if a countdown that, yeah. would would like necessarily be applicable anymore. Well, people know it's coming. But the countdowns are usually like, oh, something's gonna drop. Not sure what, but people know about this one. Well, it would have made sense if it had dropped before the album, mm -hmm. or 
on on the day of the album release, but it didn't, so I don't know if countdown's applicable anymore. But we have done them for the other couple of projects, so it might just be worth asking, is that something that they want? I guess all our answers lie with just asking. <laughs> like, hey guys, what do you what do you want? What do you what do you want? Do you want us to do something? It's a little bit uh, less cut and dry this time in terms of knowing just because it's partially live action. So it's like, who's, who's caught does this ball fall in? Do I do After Effects animation as well? No, I've never used After Effects. Uh, it doesn't run on my computer. I tried to help Mike with Starlight Brigade. Oh, that's a that's a bad comparison. You tried to open my Starlight Brigade's file, and twenty minute, twenty minutes later, you were like, "It was like forty minutes. It was like an hour <laughs> later." Yeah. I was like, I don't think it's opening. Now that's that's my fault because, um, for those that don't know, I I had this great idea that I was like, I'll just put everything in the same After Effects file, and they'll all have their own scenes. And that'll be fine. And uh, it wasn't. that way I could like <laughs> copy and paste like effects between and have like consistency and everything. And so sounds good on paper. On my machine, that file opens in like two to three minutes, if that. On India's, it just went. It didn't. It no. just didn't. <laughs> yeah, it didn't open at all. It just, <laughs> it just kind of died. I was like, I don't think I can help you. It was about the same time in the project as we're in Mystic Crystal now. Oh, where no, I was After like, effects. I want to help you render. Do you do um, just effects animation? Yeah, I do just done effects animation. Oh, Doodle, really? Would you be up for helping out with anything like that? I figured you would be super duper busy right now. What if, what if we just took like really nice tilt shift photographs of, of the coasters? Oh, Brownie's made. Oh, Brownie. And it could be like a really cool link. I'm looking forward to Brownie yeah. being able to share those with the world. Yeah. I know it is a miracle how my computer even turns on. I have payment incoming from the work I've been doing, and when it comes in, the new computer is is the first thing to happen. Oh, you made another thing recently. It's so cool. Uh, Briny, sorry, Doodle Curls in chat does uh, wood burning for anyone who doesn't know. Which is pretty cool. Looking forward to seeing it, Briny. That sounds cool. I should have called this attack the boop. The boop! Boopin. The great boopening. Boop. Just before the stream, uh, Mike and I were talking about how it's interesting that you would think that the work that someone does would like epitomize their values and kind of represent them as a person. Especially when it comes to like artistic stuff. But it's interesting how that's sometimes not true, I think. Like, for example, um, I think the stuff that I make in terms of storytelling in comics and animation stuff kind of is what you would expect and kind of epitomizes how I see the world. But I've tried like to make some music tracks and stuff in in garage band and just on the guitar and stuff and you'd think that me making music it would come out all like peppy and happy and kind of rocky and every single time what i get even if i'm trying to make something peppy and happy and enthusiastic is kind of so slow sad synthy stuff is that i mean is that a consequence of the tool you're using though I don't think so because even when I'm playing guitar, 
oh, the okay, songs yeah. that I end up writing on guitar are kind of like just um just slower and more melancholy than you think they would be to the point where I'm surprised I'm like I've done it again <laughs> <laughs> I've written another melancholy song when I was trying to do like a peppy rock thing <laughs> so it's kind of interesting in that way like I can't seem to help how it comes out it always has this similar tone but it's not the kind of tone you would normally associate with me so I think it's interesting that Maybe it's just trying to find a um a path out of out of you. What and the melancholy? It's yeah, like it... help! <laughs> I need to be expressed. Maybe I exist. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and I'm like, where did that come from? Your your feelings. Yeah, it's just, it's interesting because it's not something that I'm, like, choosing to do, but it's just the way it comes out. And it makes me wonder, like, how many other people are making art or animation or comics or music where they too are kind of surprised with how their style, I guess you would call it, comes out. How it, it doesn't feel like it, like you think it would, like it's surprising. Yeah. That's really cool. Oh, I see you, doodles. Oh boy. Rabbit says the weirder my art has become the weirder I have become. <laughs> it's been inverse for you. It's not you're expressing via your art, it's your art is changing you. India. Mm. In in a game of Piggy Joes. Or well, let, not necessarily Piggy Joes. Um but in, in this game where cats can do the boopins with the oars. Mm. And they're not on the piggy. Oh, they're not on the piggy. What is this game? It's it's just as is you can fight with the ore when you're when you're standing. What? So what's this the game though? Hypothet. Oh, just like a piggy brawler joust battle arena thing. But but isn't that what it is when they're on the pigs? What is it when they're off the pigs? Same thing. You just happen to be off a pig. Right. So you're just hitting other cats. Yeah. And then every hit gets you a point. Another hit might knock someone off their pig. I don't know. Like, well, just there's no pigs just, in this situation. Okay. Right? Yeah. Let's say there's no pigs in this situation, but it just happens to be a part of the same piggy joust game. Maybe it's the, maybe it's the unpigged horseback. I don't I know. I knew this would happen as no, soon it's as not, you it's chose not. cats. Okay. Um, All right. Go on. Do you think that an attack should have your character move forward? Or do you think an attack should have them be rooted in place, like, kind of, unless you, you're pushing forward? It's kind of like a game feel question. Are you asking me if I think there should be um, a different attack for when you're not holding forward than there is when you are holding forward? Kind of. It's, this is kind of a game feely question of, like, Because mm. it'll affect the animation I'm doing. Like, if he's taking a step forward, should should that resolve with stepping like forward or stepping back from the attack? Definitely don't, want... don't step back from the attack. Yeah. Unless you are pressing a specific combination of buttons. Would it it'd be more like um, you do an attack and you go forward, and then your feet would sort of like go boop boop for back both sides maybe. What? Like say he was he, he he was like um let's see he'd taken a step more and he was like ah then he could resolve that by like bringing one foot and bringing the other and stepping up. Okay, um, I'm not quite sure what you're asking, but my general solution would be that I would I would say there should be two separate attacks, one for when you are not holding forward but just pressing the attack button, and one for one for when you are holding forward and pressing the attack button. Yeah. And the one that you are holding forward and pressing the attack button for should step forward. Okay. And would usually just be you holding forward because you're running and then pressing it. 
Yeah, yeah. So think of it as coming out of a run. That's a good. That's a good way to think about it. I like that. Yeah, and the other way is just if you were doing it from standing. I wonder if there's any frame. Does anyone? I'm okay. What I've got in my head is how does Toon Link fight in, in Smash? Toon Link. Smash animation frames. I will, let's analyze those. Toon Link ultimate frame data. Let's do it. <laughs> oh. Oh! Oh, glory be! Oh. The rumor has come out. Does his dog hit the cats? I just, I think I want to. I think I've been playing, um, so much Smash as Toon Link that I kind of want to have these. These, I mean. It's Wind Waker-ish since the very inception, so... Yeah, that's true. Um, can attest that this game has always been Wind waker <laughs> Yeah, so I wanna... I wanna... I wanna take that forward. I love you too, Link. You're so good. Why are you purple, though? Everyone's like, please share the link to this. Oh. You found an awesome reference site. There you go. It's it, this this stuff is like to show you. Um, what's really annoying is it doesn't show you how the attack resolves. Click on view to view frame by frame hitbox image. It does, doesn't it? Unless he just goes immediately back into idle from here. He might just go immediately back into idle from there. Like, they can't spend too much time. Yeah, maybe so. Jab, jab, jab. Forward, forward tilt. I want to see him. There it is, dash attack. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, look at. Oh, look at that. That's. He slides. I never does, noticed that before. Does anyone remember the first commercial for the very first Smash Brothers? No. Haruko, I don't. What was it like? Uh, Pink Bun, I'm not left handed. I am not either. Is anyone in the chat left handed? Put up your right hand if you're left handed. Raise it up. Pablo does. Pablo remembers. Important thing I learned from Mario Cartwright, never smooth into the idol. Never smooth into the idol. What? Pop back. I guess that kind of counts. Yeah, ambidextrous I think would count as left-handed. Yeah. I think so. Maybe. Maybe he does. I don't know. Does it? I think so. I think it counts more as ambidextrous, but <laughs> yeah. you, know, you can use your left hand to Yeah, you wouldn't right you wouldn't and... say to someone if they're ambidextrous, oh you're left handed. No. That's what that's what made me think, is it though? But is it true that ambidextrous people generally, it's not that they can use like both hands for everything, it's that they um, prefer both left and right for different things? No, I think it's they can use both hands for different things that usually you would build up a... Because to me, like, I've the ambidextrous people I know are like, oh well, you know, I write with my left hand, but, you know, I use I my fence with my right. With, with my right, like I normally okay. would. You know, and I prefer, I don't know, playing tennis with my right, but I use my left to do this or that, you know. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought is I thought it meant like you could write with both hands and it would be the same. If it, it, can, Is your handwriting the same if you use both hands? Not at the same time, but like, imagine ambidextrous just meant you had to do everything two-handed. Be grateful, like, 
making sure your signature can't be forged. <laughs> hey, jump clumps, welcome. Hello. Yeah, Hinker Pink says she says Idol is an independent animation. Action is an independent animation. They'll lose snap <sighs> if you blend them. Yeah. No, I I, I get you. Ah, there you go. Um, Abo says, My mom is ambidextrous and she does certain things with left or right and often gets confused when things are switched. It looks like on a jab, Link doesn't really, doesn't really move. He's kind of grounded and I like, I like the feeling of, basically I like the feeling of the way Link, Toon Link moves and I want to try and capture that in combat. It wouldn't capture that in combat. So not necessarily the same. It wouldn't be the same attacks because it'll be a big old, big old or. But look at the little stabby boy. Stab boy. Look at the little stutter at the end of the attack. So cool. Uh, it's called ultimateframedata.com. It has, I think it, I think it has it for everything. Dodges and rolls. Lights grab. Okay, no, it's the same. It's not the same as my right hand is more trained, but I. Th no, it is not the same. My right hand is more trained, but I don't find it more difficult to learn anything where normally one hand is preferred. It is the same for both at the starting level. Hope that makes sense. Oh, yeah, that does make sense. The more you know, the less you need to find out. Interesting. <laughs> it's cool to learn about this kind of stuff. Those beautiful animations. Super cool. I didn't realize he spun during that. I love the down throw. It's just an elbow drop. He like throws the person down and then elbow drops them. Like a wrestler. Yeah. I love Saucy boy. Tybalt, you are a saucy boy! <clears throat> Tybalt? Yeah, that's the line from, uh, from Romeo and Juliet. His, uh, his father is like, Tybalt, you are a saucy boy! <laughs> Back then, I think saucy just meant, like, um, rambunctious. Like, you answer back. But, um... I found it very funny in English class. He spin. Oh my gosh, redacted! I know you didn't. I know you didn't mean what you what you typed. Um, I don't know if you could delete messages. Don't worry though, we know. Ah, typos. They're the greatest. A joy and a curse. Help. <laughs> <laughs> no one can help you now. Only the mod. There you are. Thank you, pal bro. <laughs> Everybody's like, what website is that? It's good, huh? 
good analysis. I don't even have to do anything. I just need to look at this and, and you're all entertained. I think this is a good example of Mike's Googling skills. Because no one ever believes me when I say that you have skills in Googling. They always assume it's because I'm really bad at Googling and not that you're exceptionally good at it. Oh, um, well, this, I just, I just Googled Toon Link Smash Animation Frames. So I, I, I don't think this is a, I don't think this is a testament to that. I don't know. I also have been linked to this site in the past, so I knew it existed before I found it today. Gotcha. Um. Is it like a programmer? A little bit, right? Oh, a little bit. Only a little bit, but... A, a little, I, I have programmed. I, yeah. I, I know a little bit of C Sharp. I know a little bit of JavaScript. Mike knows a little bit of everything. It's a thing. I'm a problem solver. If you can think <laughs> but a very, very, like, like shallow one. What? <laughs> I was saying, if you can think of it, you've probably done it. To some extent. Uh, yeah. I... See, this is the thing. I think about what I want to make, and then I try and make it. And whatever needs to be done in, in the service of that make, I do. What? No, it's just that's a funny Sentences, I've happen. never tried to make those before. <laughs> um, so, you know, I've done 3D stuff, 2D stuff, compositing, <laughs> all sorts. I've worked in, on a game in Unity before. <laughs> Doik has a very specific set of skills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take control of your own life. So let's see. How could I improve this animation based on what they would have done for Toon, Toon Rink? Toon Rink? A Toon Rink, yeah. Do they step first? Yeah, really kind of quick step. And then some anticipation. And then follow through. All right, all right, all right, all right. So quick step, dig, dig, and then just like a one, two. Oh, interesting. So the second in the combo starts from the end of this one. So in the animation tree, you would have like. You'd be able to come out of this one as early as about here, and then it would do this one. And then there's a branching point here for this one. Cool. I think I think a good way to kind of support. Um, I keep picking up the pen when I go back to Blender, like some sort of auto, <laughs> auto thing. Artist. Yeah. Um, I think a good thing is if you're working in small collaborative teams and you have someone who, who's, who specializes in a field you, you don't know as well, you can ask questions because ask, asking the right questions is the best way to figure out like solutions. Learning how to ask better questions helps you find the answer faster. Like, if your question is, how do I program? That's not specific enough because there's too, there's, the answer is too wide. So you need to get, like, narrow focus questions. Like, if, if your question is, how do I, um, how do I have a character move forward using, uh, script? Sorry for my squeaky chair. Then you can you can Google those. Okay, so first first thing is this step is too slow. So foot left. This needs to go like here.
and then remove this. Oh, that's really cool. Rabbit saying that the Frontier Psychiatrist Reanimated Group has been so helpful towards each other with advice and technical troubleshooting. Pretty much without me needing to encourage them, it's lovely to see. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, Rabbit, did you, ever, did you tell us when that was expected out? Yeah, Rabbit. Also, did you manage to get in contact with the person you were trying to get in contact with? Friday! Okay, so Friday! Ah! Oh, that's so close! I'm excited! Heck yeah! Where is it going to release to? Is it going on your YouTube? Oh, awesome! They explained it and got all the material to you. Oh, that's awesome. I'm really glad it worked out. Super cool. Good to hear. Auto-generate map tool is my favourite. Thank you, Toon Boom, for including this. I think it might... It sounds like the kind of thing that might do quite well on um, Newgrounds. Oh, the Frontier Psychiatrist? Yeah. I think it'd do super well on Twitter as well. And YouTube, of course. It'd probably be too long for, uh, for Twitter, but you could do what I did with the AMV and put it up in two parts, or just put up the first part. Yeah. What the hell is this music and why is it? I don't know. Right you chose it, dude. Yeah, it, it probably is too long for Twitter, but then I do think Twitter is the best place to get stuff like that scene. Kingdom Kingdom's extended version. Oh, is it um a remix of Kingdom Hearts from Dave? No, no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> it's just a it's just a jump in tune, but I'm not into it, so it's gone. Not into it, man! Michael, am I in the club right now? Am I dancing in a club right now? No, that's that's the feeling. I don't want that. I want it to be more kind of adventurous and relaxed. I wrote a Break music out theme. The glow, stri glow sticks. You want a music theme? No, I wrote a music theme for the um for Piggy Joe's way, 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 way back. Just I just remembered. I'd love to listen to Dorian Electra. Um, if only we wouldn't get copyright DM strikes. D DMCA'd. <laughs> man to man. I listened to some Taylor Swift yesterday. Hand to hand. Friend to friend. Um. <laughs> and a boop and a boop and a boop and a boop and a boop. <laughs> Sorry. Dorian Electra is amazing. I love their music so much. I love their, their style more though. I just think they're super cool. What is a Taylor Swift? Yeah, what's a Taylor Swift, Mike? A Taylor Swift is a musician. So what, which ones were you listening to? Uh, Cardigan from her new album. Cardigan? Yeah. Come again? Cardigan, her, her song Cardigan. Is it like, I wear my cardigan, cardigan, cardigan. <laughs> No. When I'm feeling blue. You I'm... should listen to her new album get before you get all cardigan. sassy and shit. I'm not getting sassy. I wear my cardigan, cardigan, cardigan. What's wrong with that? It's like a song I'd write. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't. I didn't think much of it, really. I was just gay then. I've been listening to a lot of the score. The score. Yeah. Um, they they do a lot of um, kind of epic feeling motivational music. 
He boop, and then he he and then he snoop. I like I like epic and motivational music. You probably liked the score then. The score. Oh. Oh yeah, the new NSP video by Shooch. So <gasps> good. Oh yeah, why didn't we talk about that earlier? We did, we talked about it yesterday. Oh, cool. Good. He said that everyone should watch it. Yeah. And that the skate sequence was my favorite. But there's no harm in talking about it again. You should watch the one hour stream after the music video as well. What oh, one hour stream? What one hour stream? Yeah, what happened? Did Shooch do like a premiere stream or something? We should do that. Um, it's well, it's slightly different for us because we're not one person. Like, we we're, we're part of a whole team that made the video Listen. as part of Knights of the Light Table. Okay, well they can be on the stream too if they want. Yeah, I mean they'd be totally welcome, but we'd have to like clear it with Pat first, you know. And I would feel bad if people weren't able to make it and felt like they were missing uh, out. Oh, Habba was talking about Dorian and Lectra. Oh, gotcha. Roger, Roger. He did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just remembered I was supposed to be stepping these animations, but that's okay. I'm glad it's bringing you joy. It is! Look, it's booping shit! Bringing me great joy. I want to put a little, like, change their expression so that they are, like, more mad when they attack. Thank you. I like I like making things that bring me joy. Bonk. Ha bonk. Bonk. Yeah. Bonk you. Bonk. I don't know. There's just something really kind of silly about about this. I don't know if it's the timing or it's just. I hit you. And then I guess... What would be the second combo the hit here? Tulio, the hip, the hip. Yeah, what would be the second hit then? He does this. Oh, are you doing like a combo string? I think so, yeah. Okay. Um. What's the first one? I didn't see it. Oh. This. Whoa. Because mm. it could be like they take it in both hands and they do like a push. Or it could be like you do another swing out. It's time to look at stuff fighting 101 with India. Because she has been looking at this herself. Yay. So if you're using one-handed, generally you'll want to hold the staff um, more toward the end. Okay. So that you both increase your range and you have to exert less force on one end to increase the force on the other. Oh, okay. Like hitting someone with a stick when you're holding in the middle will hurt less than you hitting someone with the stick if you're holding it at the end because you're using both the weight of the stick and you're amplifying your own movements yeah to the end of the stick I, that makes sense but I don't want the range to be like 
out here, that that's maybe a bit too much. Mm -hmm. You think of it more like a sword, are you? Um, there we are. Lady, Lazy Mazharsh. Ugh, I can't speak. Lazy Mahash, there you are. Says, increase range and talk. Um, mm -hmm. And when you are using both hands, you'll generally want to hold it in the middle more. Because, again, that gives you more range with both ends of it, and it gives you greater control gotcha. in the middle. Like, if you're holding it close to the end with both ends and trying to block stuff with it, it's going to be really hard, and you're going to have a higher chance of your knuckles getting hit. Yeah. So it gives you um, more flexibility to hold it more in the middle when you're using two hands. Uh, Lazy Mahash says one hand in the middle, one hand near the end, so you can pivot with the hand at the end. Yeah, so like he would use his off hand at, at down here, yeah. Yeah, and that would be the hand which basically controls it. Yeah. And the other hand's more for like stability. <laughs> and Kuna, are you thinking of chopstick? The closer to the tip, the more dexterous you are. I think in order to do uh, different hand grip stuff, I'm going to need to add another bone that can move <clears throat> independently. Because right now, I believe... Actually, no. I... That a lie. That, that an absolute lie. Oh my god! I Why are you thing. always lying? Why are you always lying? Because I can move this. Oh my god. Wait. Can I move this? Oh. Oh, you want to fight. I got an elephant. <laughs> you want to fight. If our entire stream is just us quoting songs, <laughs> it's going to be absolutely unintelligible to anyone trying to watch it. Well, you, that wasn't a quote from a song. That was your well, interpretation. They fight. Well, they, it doesn't then go, I got an elephant, to be fair. That's an in joke. Because it's, from it's the I same got song. I gotta elevate. Yeah. It's not, I got an elephant, India. You gotta, right. you gotta, so hard. gotta come to terms. So you're making me sad. So it's even more non intelligible because you're not even referencing a song. It's a combination of song lyrics and in jokes. See you, Havo. Have an awesome day. Yeah, there we go. So it's not connected anymore, which means. Whoa, 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 whoa! I can have it wherever I want. Fish it. Boop. I thought that was going to be more difficult than it was, and then it wasn't. You solved the problem. Nice job. That might actually be a good range. Now that I see it. I don't like that the ore is all the way over here though for running. Um, so can I... Can I... How does this look? If it's, if it's usually here and then on, on the first frame it's like... Oh no, actually, I want to be slightly further over here. Does, is that going to look weird? Did that not animate? I want to animate! Did that, that not animate? It didn't animate. Why did that not animate? What? Why did that not animate? What's going on? I don't know, Mike. I'm sorry. Weapon grip. There's a difference. We're not here to fight. We need your help. 
Even though literally every time we talk to you, you double cross us, kidnap us, or threaten to destroy everything we love. Maybe we are here for a fight. You want to fight? It go boop you. Look, it go cat's going boop you. Guys here for a fight? Boop you. I'm doing attack animations. It's going boop all of you all. It's it's boopy cat, not poopy cat. Or spoopy cat. Or spoopy cat. Hey Tim, how you doing? How was your stream? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out whether I can uh, move <laughs> move my. Welcome Raiders. Tim, Tim, you ever done a game where the um where the character has a weapon? How do you usually handle holding the weapon? You laughing at me? Oh, I think it would depend on the weapon, right? <laughs> How you hold it depends on the weapon. I mean, you wouldn't hold a knife the same way that you'd hold a broadsword. <laughs> you wouldn't Mamma Mia. You wouldn't Mamma Mia. <laughs> <laughs> Boops are gentle, non-committal. Bonks are more aggressive and usually involve the head. Baps are quick, usually due to panic and fear. And out of the three, bonks are the strongest choice to defeat the opponent. Yeah, is that true. cat cat foo? <laughs> this is the cat handbook of how to fight. Have you seen videos where um? <laughs> I've never seen videos. No. Okay, well, they're this new invention where you string a series of pictures together uh, sequentially. That sounds like animation. Time stuff. <laughs> yeah. I wonder which one came first. Anyway. Uh huh. Um. It's just got a, it's like a first person cam and it's like they got their hand and they've added sound effects and they're like But they go up to a cat and the cat like blocks every move. It's, oh, I've seen that. Yeah, that's cool. It's so good. Tim made a dog hold a gun and a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the ultimate combo of weapons. <laughs> the egg, the egg came first. <laughs> The yeah. egg always comes first. So, hey, hey, Bone. Why are you... Always lying. Why you know... Why you know... Why you... Why you... Wait! <laughs> what? It worked. Yeah! Woohoo! You did it. I, Congratulations. I did you made it. a game. I did I made a game. You did it? Yeah. Done now, you can retire. Okay, does this look odd? If he extends the range, he's like, wap. Yeah, it does kind of look odd. I'm still really intrigued about the dog with the gun and the shovel. Oh, you not seen Tim's game? No. There's a dog with a shovel. <laughs> well, but I mean... And a gun. I... That was the part I knew about. Okay, well, um, I he played it on stream. Uh, the la one of the times that I raided, I say I raided because you you flitter away and I stayed. I don't, excuse me, I'm part of the raid process too. <laughs> well, then you would have seen Grave Jam. Do you remember when I got really excited about the possibilities of incorporating Twitch into a Unity game? Mm, yeah. Do you really remember? Yeah. Like, genuinely. Mhm. Mm Your face says you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Your face is like, if he keeps talking, maybe I'll figure it out. That's the face you're making. I right remember. Now. Okay. Well, I, I saw Tim stream, and he had like, uh, rewards could uh, be entered. Like, okay, he had a. It's a zombie wave shooter game, mm. and the viewers could uh, trigger rewards on his Twitch chat, mm -hmm. which triggered enemies to spawn in the game. Mm. And that's the game that you play as a little doggo in a graveyard oh. and you shoot the zomb the waves of zombies and then you dig them up for bones. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I think. I love that. Oh. It's I didn't super it was cool. A doggo. Yeah. That changes oh, everything. Oh, it's super cool. I think I think the splash art might have been made by um Max. Maybe? Max. Max Greg. Yes. Oh, cool. I think. It looked kind of like the thing that he would do. 
Yes, Max made the splash art. That was a complete guess. Nice. <gasps> and the textures. Is it Bake in the Dog? I don't think so. But I'd love a, a game with Bake in the Dog. Bake in the Dog adorable. would be adorable. The, yeah. There's a bacon aspect to Grape Jam. Not really. Wait, let me show you the art. Great. I wanna know. Jam. Can you show That's me? Great. I wanna know if the dog looks cool. <laughs> show well, me the dog. I'll do a search. Let me find it. I'm trying. It's a little mm -hmm. difficult. Grave Jam didn't come up, but I've got Max Grek and then uh, all this one, Instagram. If you're not familiar with Max, I, I think a lot of people who we know are already familiar. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, that's a dog. It's a pug. Look how good. Oh, it looks great. Oh, be bigger. Wow. Be be sizable. It's amazing. Well, Max is such a good artist. Full oh, why? Why? There we go. <laughs> so good. Look at that. What a good boy. I like the paw shape on the shovel. That's real good. Good boy. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Oh shit, Tim! I recently, uh, I recently um made made uh my bot be really super harsh to get rid of like spam bots. Uh, we kept getting a bunch of them. We got like four in a row at one point. Uh, so I think I I don't know I don't even know if the permit thing works. I need, I need, I, need, I haven't had time to. To figure that out. So what I've got here is I'm, I added a bone on my cat rig. That's the weapon bone, and that can move. It's it's parented to the IK. And I'm wondering, is that how you do it? That's how I'm doing it. This is how we do it. Because eventually I'll want to have different weapon skins, and you will. What do you need different weapons for? This. Oh wait, just skins. That's yeah. Still gonna, it's always going to be an ore. Yeah, it's always going to be an ore. Okay, okay, gotcha. And sometimes a sword. But the sword's going to be in the left hand. Wait. <laughs> Mike. It, it, it's version 2. Version Mike. 2 of India. Mike. What? I do have to talk to you about this. <laughs> I have a vision. What is it? <laughs> then please enlighten me. Because it... it seems like you're just making mutiny again. No, I'm not making it mutiny. It seems like this thing which you were like, I'm just going to make Piggy Jow. And I'm going to keep it simple. And it's just going to be Piggy Jow. And it's going to have a really tight game loop. It's, it's slowly spreading out to. And now the cats can get off the pigs and fight one another with more than just an oar. I need help. <laughs> I get well, excited. I get somewhere. excited. <laughs> I know, and it's great that you get excited, but I feel like this feature creep is making your your game into not Piggy Joust anymore. Yeah, it might be true. But look how cute he poops. I mean, it's really cute, Mike. Okay. But the cats were right. never meant to be fighting. Yeah. Or even getting off the pigs, really. You might be right. And it sounds like now it's becoming just a brawler. Which is fine if that's what you want to make. Yeah. But I feel like it's my duty to warn you at least of what's happening. Feature creep an enemy in the game, that'd be pretty good. Hey, a single pal. Good morning. Thank you for the follow, but appreciate it. Welcome in. Um, yeah, well, okay. Let's bring back the pigu. 
bring back the original point of the game. <laughs> yeah. It seem, does seem like a bit of an alarm bell to be working on animations for mechanics you're not sure you want yet. Yeah, but... I know you think they're cool. Yeah. They are cool. But... Like, maybe you don't want to make Piggy Joust. Maybe you want to make a different game. No, I want to make Piggy Joust. Oh yeah, don't hit the Piggy. Oh no, the Piggy's, the piggy's not getting... That's not a boop on the piggy, that's you jumping on the piggy. Let me see. Do -do -do. Piggy and horses. There we go. Now, the game is going to be that... Um, you, you are a cat, you ride the piggies, piggies, sorry, and then you are attempting to joust one another off of a pig. That's that's the main central core mechanic. The central core mechanic is that you score a point every time you land a joust on your opponent. Yeah. And it's whoever has the most points by the time runs out. And by the time the time runs out, all first to ten, right? Yeah. Uh, it's... It's not necessarily a solo project in that it's built on the foundations of a group project from years ago. Um, so I'll be building on building on past work. Uh, I'll probably like ask my coder friend for some from help uh, at some point. So to, to give you kind of the backstory, um, a group of friends and I, we tried to make a game together called Mutiny and we attempted to kickstart it and Steam Greenlight it and we got it approved for Steam Greenlight. Oh, please don't autoplay the music. No! <laughs> um, and so this is, this is Mutiny. I'll play, I'll play this uh, video for you. I can't full screen it because my computer doesn't like. There we go. So here it is. It had sharks, it had ships. Um, <laughs> and the point of the game was you were part of this pirate crew defending your ship and you were fighting both attacking pirates and you were also fighting one another to become the captain. And with the captain you got like a hat and a coat and you were more powerful and stuff. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. And while working on this, I did this concept. You can see here a guy riding a pig. And slowly, we just. Uh, <laughs> we kept adding st features to the pig to the point that we got, I think, this. Trundly Pigu. Um, and then we had a little mini game where you could like joust one another off of the back of the pig. So we made like a working prototype of Pirates on Pigs. Um, I'm not selling this very well. I think hey, why are you the history of it? Yeah. The pig could also swim like a jet, jet ski. Um, but basically, that took over mutiny as like your priority of what you wanted to make because you and the coder were having so much fun making it together. Yeah. Like we were demoing the game at various events back in like twenty when was this last post? 2014, 2015. Um and uh eventually the development kind of fell through and we disbanded a bunch. Um but I always kind of really liked that Piggy Joust part of it. Um, I think <laughs> I think part of the reason we we uh, didn't quite get to a finished product was that we weren't quite sure what the finished product was supposed to be as a collective vision. Each of us had like what we thought would be good and we didn't have like that central. Kind of my problem now, which is very good that India's like, remember what the, 
the game Remember is. <laughs> what you're trying to make. <clears throat> um, because I get excited and I just start making. Well, I mean, the issue stuff. with the with the original game was there was no reason for you to want to be captain, really, in terms of the gameplay itself. Uh, y well, I think we were trying to make like little like um scenarios uh we had trouble getting t we had like a prototype but we had trouble getting to like a core uh game loop but establishing that not that we didn't know what it could be or how to implement it just agreeing and making it was but pika dress had that like it had that core game loop which was like get to 10 points nice yeah. and simple yeah <laughs> So that's the that's that's the history, sort of. Also, there was murder, and at one point, uh, there's a skyscraper involved, and we won't go into that. But yeah, missing all the interesting bits. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Yeah, Ben Powell says that they also make indie games. Oh, awesome! What what uh what are you doing? Single Petal says, I remember trying to develop a game where the game would only turn into a horror if you had bad morals, but that's pretty cool. It kind of reminds me a little bit of what Undertale did, that I really love, where um, if you play the game as a, uh, you know, quote, bad person, then the entire game feel completely changes. Oh, that's cool. It becomes, like, way less fun um, to kind of show you what happens when you are an asshole to everyone. One of the things I really enjoy about, um, oh, I won't say, there's a game uh, that when you kind of pick the bad path, it, it changes the t pace of the music and it slows down and it's just really, really affecting. The Undertale? Bitch! I was trying not to say that! Is this because we were already talking about the way it changes, you know? Oh, did, were we already talking about? Yeah, I was... Uh, literally talking about undertale oh i missed that before i didn't i didn't okay i didn't realize you're talking about undertale i thought you were just talking in general yeah ben you can feel free to like pop it into the chat if you want uh can you like type it in without putting the http and we will that was a very high-pitched bitch yeah sorry <clears throat> whoa! I can't believe whoa, 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 whoa! Thank you very an much. An anon <laughs> anonymous gifter. An, anom an anonymous gifter. You did it. Thank no you so way. much. I can't believe this. It's used the one word I can't say. Thanks so much. That's so cool of you. Thank you. Many, many thank you for all the gifted subs. That's amazing of you. No oh, way! Cool. I can't believe this! Robotic is shook. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, that's awesome! If you're in the chat, no say way. hi so we can I can't believe this. spam emotes at you. In thankfulness. Operator overload. So that was on Steam Greenlight. No way! I can't believe this! Best believe it, Robotnik, is happening. I found it, I think. No way. Can't believe this. Oh, now available on Steam. Is it store page? Daiso, thank you so much for the follow. I'm gonna mute it. Sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I love LV. So there's a new puzzle game by indie game creator Ben Powell. Solve your way through you. <laughs> over a hundred levels of complex, combin complex combinatoric conundrums using your, your logical, logical deduction and problem solving skills, and then create your own using the in-game level editor. That's really Ooh. cool. Sounds awesome. And looks pretty. It's got a um. 
got a choo choo rocket vibe to it. This is really cool. Not the, the art style or anything, but like the um, path grid um, planning thing. That looks really cool. And how have you found it? Like, um, sales and everything. If anyone is interested, yeah, here's the link. <laughs> sales not so good. Um, discoverability, man. I mean, Among Us was out for two years before really anybody oh, yeah. knew ab about it. That's a good example. Um, and now look at it. We'll call it at 11, which is four minutes from now. Got a crow mail. <gasps> ah! Ah! Crow mail. Eh. See. Um. Oh my gosh, it's from Music Box Draws. Hey, Music Box, how are you doing? Miss you. Uh, Music Box says, hey guys, just wanted to say hi and sorry for not joining the streams recently. Oh, don't worry. Like, everyone's got stuff going on. No worries at all. I'm doing animation at uni now. Oh, I've been whoa. feeling really drained recently, but hopefully someday I'll have some work I can show you guys. Oh, we'll take it easy. Don't push yourself, like, too hard and burn out or anything. Have fun with it. I'm sure you're doing awesome stuff. I can't wait to see what you've been up to. Thank you for the crow mail. Ah! So how can we take what we learn from... I hope that you're finding uni good as well and fun. Yeah, it's really cool to um, hear that you're pursuing, pursuing animation. Yeah, it's the best. Congratulations on choosing the correct career. Interesting. Why, why are your hips go down? I don't remember animating it so that that does that. You wanted to do animation for ages. Oh, that's so cool. And now you're doing it. I'm sure you're going to make some awesome stuff. Could it be Zed? Might be Zed. <laughs> Dangerous Sponge says, Hey, Dogsift, guess what? I don't know. What? <laughs> what? What is it? What? <laughs> TD Ola, India, how do you animate? You know that better than I do. You tell me how to animate, Ola. How you do it? How you draw so good? What was that? What did that bird say in that video? Um, wow. What doing? <laughs> what doing? <laughs> bird was being chastised for eating shoes, and their um, their owner is just like, you know, you're not supposed to do that, and they're like, what? What doing? <laughs> Kisses. <laughs> Ola lies. No, I don't. I've never animated in my life. What's animation? Let's see. 
uh, want to want to read Ben's message. Ben says, but yeah, I like watching animation streams because that's definitely my weak spot. I got into it all as a programmer and just tried to wing the art side. I feel like we're all kind of winging the art side, to be honest. <laughs> I still feel like I'm winging the art side. Yeah. Like, is there ever a point at which you feel like you know what you're doing? Because I haven't found it if there is. No. I'm working professionally as a compositor and I don't still don't feel like I know what I'm doing. Oh, redacted. I don't know if we've we've replied to the email yet. It's been pretty busy here. Oh. It might be a little bit before we get to it. I intended to I said on the stream yesterday and I intended to reply yesterday, but I hit like my day did not go like I thought it was going to go yesterday. Nope. Um, I hit some like render errors where I'd um, used some glow effects in um, After Effects. And when I was rendering it out, the glow is would be stuttering. And so it'd be like 100% on, 10% on, 0% on, 100% on, 10% on. And I, um, I was trying to figure out why all day. Uh, eventually, I think I narrowed it down to that um, the color management in the scene, um, I think, was just borking and uh, like something was getting lost on a on a, like a per, it was weird on a per frame basis. So I changed the color management in the the project settings from. Um, it was set to Apple RGB for I don't know what reason. And I sent it to none and then re-rendered it and it seems to be okay. So Yeah. <laughs> Took me a day to figure that out. Discovered it in a really roundabout way though. Uh I discovered it by rendering a target sequence, looking at the target sequence, and it was okay, but it was rendering out uh, more faded and the colors had shifted so in attempting to solve the um the color shift in the scene then i rendered it out as a like a mauve and it was fine i was like what the fuck one i've never looked at that menu before two why was it set to something i'd never set it to three why would that why would that break? So, yeah, lots of... Lots of Q's and very little A's. And that's past 11. So yeah, well, I will call the stream here. I, I didn't get much done today. I feel like I could have been more productive. Do we have a link to the playlist you listen to? Uh, no. Because we get a lot of music off of Epidemic and I ended up downloading them and putting them into full bar but what I can do is export this as maybe like a list and you can search it yourself yeah so basically what epidemic is is it's a service that you pay per month for and it gives you access to a library of music where um, you won't get copyright struck for it but you can't link people to those playlists who don't already have accounts. Like, it just, the link doesn't work. I think they might have changed that recently. Oh, yeah? I think they might have, yeah. So it would take a little bit of time, but I might be able to rebuild the, this playlist on Epidemic. <laughs> um, but I certainly won't have time for that. Right now. Right now. It's That's also cool to hear though. Yeah. It'd be nice to be able to share it. <laughs> Epidemic, I know. Yeah. Hey, they might be coming up in more search results, or they might be getting completely flooded. Okay. Okay, we'll work on we'll work on the joust attack animation tomorrow. And more write like writing based animations since the character will only be on a pigu in the first loop of the game. 
Thank you for keeping me on track, Tifty. Oh, you're welcome. If not me, then who? If not you, then who? All right. If anyone has any uh, raid suggestions, I'm happy to. Uh, take I will them. oblige. Ah, oh, this is our this is our hype music track. I want to make a little like animated intro using this as a basis. That'd be cute. Oh, we don't have we don't have that many options. Um, from the people that we already follow. Mm -hmm. It's basically Domo, Nick, Maya, Insane, Gelatin Guy, or Swim Nemo. Got an artist that you follow, yeah. Um, do you have any idea when the form will be up? Is this week still manageable? I'll put that up. I'll put that up in the next hour. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Is there another animator to raid? Gelatin Guy's an animator. Let's do that. That's good. That's a good point. He might end up raiding Domo, so you'll get a dub double double shabang. Raid channel, gelling guy, start raid. There we go. I've set it up. Very welcome. Thanks, Bob, bro. Yeah, well, thank you everyone for coming by today. Thank yeah, you, India. Yeah, thank you guys so much for streaming with me. That's okay. Sorry, I wasn't able to share screen. I just have a have a lot of stuff to get on with. So. That's fair. You know, we looked at some animation frames from Smash. We look. We mm -hmm. I did some tech things on my tablet. I, you did. Yeah, it's been all all good. I can't believe it's been like an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah, I can. <clears throat> Oh. But that's only because I'm like, huh, need to work faster. <laughs> I think, I think, yeah, keep, keep, keep me like, focused on, on, on Pigu Joust things. And you really, want me like, to actually like call you out for the stuff. Yeah. I, I feel bad doing it. Well, chat can then. Chat doesn't chat know what you're on. trying to do. That's true. Which makes it a bit harder for them to call you out when you're not on task. Yeah. Hopefully once, oh. Oh, seven. Uh, may the rest of your day be filled with adventure. adventure. I forgot that time's out. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs>